You've got the sound you want, the right file types ready, and people are already showing an interest in your tracks. But before you start selling on BeatStars, the question you should ask yourself is, how do I make sure my tracks are uploaded correctly and being presented well in the marketplace? Hi, my name is Bruno, and welcome to another module of the BeatStars Academy. By the end of this, you'll know exactly how to take full advantage of the BeatStars Marketplace and BeatStars Studio. Let's begin. Imagine the BeatStars Marketplace as a digital mall for beats, hooks, sound kits, and services. As you enter, you're greeted by thoughtfully created storefronts made by creators at all stages of their careers. Here, potential customers can easily find and purchase your work engaging with you in a space designed for creativity and commerce. Let's dive into some of the marketplace's most valuable features and how you can make the most of them. Keep in mind, the features we're about to dive into are the results of carefully designed efforts on the back end in studio, which we'll explore shortly. First up, the search bar. While it might seem like a standard feature, the BeatStyle search bar is a powerful tool for both buyers and sellers. It offers multiple ways to find exactly what you're looking for. You can search for specific song titles, artists, or producers using the multiple drop-down options. Looking for a playlist or specialized services like mixing and mastering? There are options for that too. This functionality simplifies the scouting and buying process for your customers, allowing them to quickly create their own experience the moment they step on the platform. Next, let's talk about filtering. Once you've searched for content, you can narrow it down even more. Buyers can get granular by genre, mood, tempo, key, instrument, tags, price, duration, energy, and vocal presence. Being this specific helps your potential customers find exactly what they need, ensuring they're always satisfied with their purchase. Something to keep in mind. The search filter defaults to all categories, allowing you to search across all categories containing your keywords. The Top Charts is one of the most popular playlists on BeatStars. It's more than just a list of trending tracks. It's a valuable tool for discovery, spotting trends, and learning new marketing strategies. By studying the Top Charts, you can understand what genres, styles, or tempos are resonating with audiences the most and apply these insights to your own work. For those wondering how to get on the top charts, focus on increasing your organic sales and engagement. Higher sales volumes boost your chances of ranking and when we cover marketing and branding, we'll explore strategies to help you achieve this. Of course, having an easy to use storefront is crucial when selling anything online. On our platform, Buyers are met with a transparent process, from pricing to licensing options and terms. This clarity helps build a strong, trustworthy relationship with your customer base, ensuring they have a smooth and satisfying experience every time. Now let's introduce you to the back end of BeatStars, Studio, and all of the most important features for creating the perfect release on the platform. First up, is the Studio Dashboard. Think of this as your command center. Here, you can get a comprehensive overview of your business. You can see things like your track performance, your latest sales, new messages, and notifications, all at a glance. When you're ready to upload your music, getting your file types right is crucial. We covered this in the last video, but here's a quick rundown of what's needed. Untagged WAV, an uncompressed audio file, meaning it retains the full quality of the original recording. It's ideal for final production and distribution because it maintains the integrity of your original sound. Buyers looking for the best quality will prefer WAV files, and the suggested export size is 16-bit to 32-bit, up to 48 kilohertz. Untagged MP3, this is a compressed audio file, meaning the file has been processed to reduce its size without an audio tag. This is the lowest quality type of file, 
but it's still very common for sharing and previewing beats because the file size is small, making it easy to upload and download. The suggested export size is 320 kilobits per second. Trackouts or stems. This is an export of each instrument as a separate file in WAVE. This gives artists, producers, and engineers full control over the mixing process. Tagged MP3, a lower quality compressed file with an audio tag. It's ideal for sharing and previewing beats, ensuring your work is recognizable while still sounding good. If you don't have an audio tag, BeatStar Studio can create a default voice tag for you with a custom voice tag feature. Having these file types ready to go will make your uploading process smooth and efficient and will help you increase your sales. Next, let's talk about titling. This might seem straightforward, but how you title your tracks can significantly impact how you're perceived as a producer. Clean, concise titles are your best bet. Repeating keywords won't enhance your search results, so prioritize using the right keywords in the tag section instead. Check out a couple of examples of titles from two successful creators on the platform. Both Rico Rundat and Eerie Skies choose to only use simple, clean titling for their tracks. Also, take note of the tags they use for their beats. They optimize their searches using both well-known and relatively niche artists. Here's a pro tip. If you're finding it difficult to come up with a title for your beat, consider using tools like ChatGPT. You can input details such as your tag information, tempo, and description of the beat, then ask the prompt to generate titles optimized for SEO to improve discoverability. For example, you could suggest a prompt like recommend two to three titles for a chill hip hop beat inspired by Mac Miller at 120 BPM that will perform well in SEO searches to give you a list of potential titles. Metadata is one of your most powerful tools for success on BeatStars. Properly filled out, metadata increases your chances of organic discovery. And here's how to make the most of it. Tags. Let's start with tags. Keep in mind that just because a tag may have a lot of search volume, like Drake or Future, doesn't necessarily mean that that's the tag you should stick to. This section of your uploading is all about finding your niche tags that have longevity. Here's a pro tip. Use Spotify to help you find relevant tags. Here's how. Step one, start by searching for the most popular artist whose style your track sounds similar to and use their name as a tag. For example, you could use Gunner as the first tag. Step two, scroll down to the fans also like section, identify an artist with a smaller following and use their name as another tag. In this example, we'll use Young Nudie, who has a smaller monthly listenership. Step three, explore the fans also like section of the second artist to find another relevant artist for your third tag. For this example, Chavo will be the third tag. By following these steps, you not only tag a highly relevant and popular artist, but also position yourself to invest early in the area of an artist who hasn't yet gained widespread recognition. And here's a second pro tip. Single word searches have higher search volumes on BeatStars than multiple word searches. For example, there are more searches for Drake than Drake type beat. Next, make sure you have all the accurate genres and subgenres added. This will ensure you appear in the appropriate genre categories within the marketplace. You can also include genres that are slightly outside your main genre, but still align with your sound. For example, if you're creating hip hop music, consider adding genres like hip hop soul or R&B. Key and BPM. When you upload your track, the platform automatically generates the key and BPM, enhancing your visibility in search results. Moods and instruments. You can easily select the type of mood your track fits and which instruments are most prominent. Again, enhancing your visibility on the platform. If you wanna speed things up, you can also use the autofill metadata option in the dynamic fills section. This will automatically populate the metadata fields based on your uploaded track. 
Let's talk about the Collaborators tab. Collaboration is a powerful way to boost your chances of landing placements. BeatStar Studio makes it easy to add collaborators to your tracks and automate payment splitting. You can determine revenue and publishing splits up front, saving you from manually managing payments later. Finally, let's talk about monetization. At BeatStars, we've spoken to many producers on the platform, and truthfully, all of them have different approaches when it comes to pricing. The best way to find the sweet spot is to ask yourself three questions. What's your end goal? Who is your ideal customer? And what kind of budget do they typically have? And how frequently will you be uploading new tracks? If your goal is to sell as many tracks as you can, then maybe listing your tracks at a lower price point is best. There are multiple tiers and even hybrid approaches you can take. Let's dive into all the options you have. First up, we have the tiered individual pricing approach. This allows you to appeal to a wider range of buyers, from those looking for basic options to those seeking premium features or exclusivity. Tiered pricing enables you to monetize different aspects of your work, such as higher quality files or additional usage rights, ensuring you can capture more value from customers willing to pay for a premium offering. For example, tiered pricing can look like $50 for an MP3 or WAV lease, $150 for WAVE trackout leases, $250 for unlimited lease, and make an offer only for exclusive rights. Next, we have tiered bulk pricing. This approach is one of the best for increasing the volume of sales. Tiered bulk pricing can encourage buyers to purchase multiple beats at once, boosting overall sales. Because of the affordability of tracks, you're likely to attract repeat buyers. Most tracks here are buy two, get one free, which can enhance the perceived value of your offerings and can help build stronger customer relationships, leading to repeat business and long-term loyalty. You can also focus on discount pricing. While this may result in lower revenue per sale, it can significantly boost overall sales volume. Limited time discounts create a sense of urgency, prompting buyers to make quick purchasing decisions. Not to mention, Discounts can make your beats more accessible, appealing to new customers who may be hesitant to pay full price. Finally, you have free downloads. Of course, this method is great for attracting new customers, but the best part, and what we recommend, is exchanging beats for contact information, like email addresses or follows on platforms like BeatStars, X, and SoundCloud. This allows you to track potential customers and use this information to market more beats to them in the future. Also, any beats that you make available as a free download will also be available in Voloco, meaning thousands of more artists will have visibility to your beats and will have the option to purchase them within the marketplace. Here's another pro tip. You can always use the top charts as a reference to gauge the going rate for beat prices. This can help you set a competitive price that aligns with market trends while still attracting potential buyers. From this section, you can also select how you'd like to license your music, either as a non-exclusive license, which includes basic, premium, and unlimited options, or as an exclusive license. Let's break down each type. Basic license. This is the most affordable option, allowing customers to purchase an MP3 version of your track. The commercial usage rights, in other words, how many streams they're allowed until an upgraded lease is required, how many music videos can be filmed, etc., are usually more restricted, depending on the parameters you set. Premium license. Usually listed at a higher price point than basic licenses, this option allows customers to purchase the WAV file of your track, offering more expansive commercial usage rights. Unlimited license. This option typically offers your stem or trackout files at the highest price before the exclusive option, giving buyers more flexibility with commercial usage. Exclusive license. This license grants the buyer sole ownership of the track, similar to selling a property. It involves a one-time payment, and once sold, you can no longer resell that track. With Content ID, BeatStars has consolidated multiple monetization programs into a single, seamless solution 
allowing you to track and earn revenue from your music across platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Simply enter key information such as your artist name and track title and choose whether to submit to YouTube's content ID system as well as Meta and TikTok's fingerprinting services to help monitor and monetize your music across these platforms. Pro tip, register your tracks through our content ID platform during the uploading process before they're downloaded, purchased or discovered by buyers. This helps you maintain control over your intellectual property, your tracks, and prevents others from claiming ownership first. Think of it like holding the keys to your own house. If you wait, someone else could try to claim ownership, leading to legal disputes later on. We'll talk more about Content ID in the next module. That might have been a lot of information, but now that you've gotten an in-depth look at BeatStars Marketplace and Studio, you're well on your way to mastering the platform for the best possible visibility for your tracks. Let's keep building. 